Okay, today we're going to talk about the patch that happened for Overwatch today on October 17th. Only one thing really happened in this patch, so I'm sure you can tell what the crux of this is going to be about. And the short answer is, I don't like it, and I'm going to complain about it for a while here. But let's do our due diligence and look at everything else as well. So players can now set their social status to online, away, busy, or appear offline. This change is funny to me because, note, appearing offline does not prevent friends from seeing you if you're placed into the same match. I just find it funny that they felt the need to specify that, right? Because, like, obviously, they would be able to see you. Though I do think it would be cool if you were set to appear offline and your friend was in the same game as you, if you just had the default Bnet user username to them instead. That would be kind of cool. Probably a little bit too much work, but that would be cool. But I just find that funny that they felt the need to specify that. So, Lucio, wall ride. The speed boost that Lucio receives after completing a wall ride has been increased by 65%. That's quite a lot. However, I think fundamentally this will make no change to Lucio at all. So let's talk about why we're actually here today, which is Mercy. So the thing that happened in the recent patch where Mercy's momentum was carrying through when you uh, cancelled GA was a bug. They fixed that in this patch, but they kind of re-implemented it where players can now glide past a targeted ally using the jump key. So you can, aff you can continue your momentum through the GA by holding space or whatever you have jump bound to. So, I feel like this will actually still upset people that didn't like that, because I don't know about you, but when I'm playing Mercy, and I'm just, like, kind of moving around, just, like, holding space a lot of the time, so I feel like people are going to accidentally do this quite frequently. Um, I liked the way it worked with the bug, so I'm cool with it still being in there somewhere, you know? Now, I get, now you have options with how you want to use GA, because now you can cancel it early still, or you can use it to continue the momentum if you've got somewhere you want to be. So that's cool. And the cooldown is no longer reset when Resurrect is activated. Whatever, it's got a really long cooldown. So, a really short cooldown, rather. What am I talking about? It's got a really short cooldown, so that makes basically no difference. Now, Valkyrie no longer resets or reduces Resurrect's cooldown, now gives players a bonus resurrection charge. So, here's the thing. So, gaining a bonus resurrection charge works like this. You get the charge regardless of what your resurrect cooldown is currently at. So if you have resurrect off cooldown right now and you use it, and you use Valkyrie, you can now just use resurrect twice back to back. If your cooldown is still ticking, it doesn't reset the cooldown, but you still gain the bonus charge. So, if your cooldown is currently going, it effectively refreshes the cooldown because you get the extra charge. So, this makes it easier to, like, res two people with your ultimate because now you don't have to go res, alt, res, alt, res. Now you can just go alt, res, res. However, the trade-off for that being easier is that the cooldown is no longer reduced in Valkyrie. So now you res way less people. So, this is... A very big nerf to Valkyrie. Valkyrie is still a very strong ultimate, don't get me wrong. But, instead of being like a 10 out of 10 ultimate, it's now like a 7 out of 10 ultimate, right? Like, it's been brought down. Here's the reason I don't like this change, though, right? And don't get me wrong, I feel Mercy was too strong, but here's the issue, right? This doesn't fix the problem. Because the reason Mercy is so strong, and basically a mandatory pick right now, is just because of the utility that is attached to Resurrect. Because if your team has a Mercy and the enemy team doesn't have a Mercy, it's just a lot fucking harder for you to win that game. Because the enemy team, if they've got a Mercy and you don't, enemy team, as soon as a fight starts, they lose someone, they just res that person. That's a huge tempo swing in the middle of a fight, and they can still res two people as well with Valkyrie, which is an even bigger tempo swing. And the enemy team can out, out just undo any picks that happened. That still happens, right? That utility isn't gone. So the thing that makes Mercy mandatory is still there because that's just re how Resurrect works in concept, right? You don't, you, that's not been taken away. So all this change actually does is it makes Mercy less fun to play and it makes her ultimate feel less rewarding to use but it doesn't make her any less mandatory as a hero because the utility that makes her mandatory is just tied to resurrect. So it's not going to it's not going to fix it. This is in my mind the worst change that you can the worst kind of nerf I should say that you can make to a hero. Because 
It's a nerf that doesn't fix the issue and just makes the hero less fun to play. So the hero's not less mandatory, but they're just less fun. So this is what kept happening to Lucio. Even, like, in beta, right? Really strong, really... He was mandatory for a really long time, up until recently. And some people would still argue that he is. Because the speed aura is just really strong, especially when it has a near-infinite range, as it used to. But they didn't want to change that. They just kept changing other things about Lucio. They nerfed his damage, and so on. And they nerfed the move speed both... But the move speed a little bit. And then... That didn't fix the issue, because the issue was just that a team having a move speed boost and a team not having a move speed boost is a huge swing. So, eventually they changed this, and, like, I think actually figured out a way to balance it. But, it took them a fucking long time to get there, and all they kept doing was making changes to Lucio that didn't fix the core issue with Lucio, and just made Lucio less fun to play. They took his damage away, they nerfed his speed boost inconsequentially, so, like... Doesn't actually make him less mandatory, makes him feel less rewarding still, though. And Lucio just ended up being really unfun. But you still had to have a Lucio on your team, because if you didn't, you just had a lower chance of winning. Same issue with Mercy right now. If you still, if you don't have a Mercy on your team, you still just have a lower chance of winning. Especially if the enemy team has a Mercy and you don't. This change doesn't fix that. So she's just less fun, and her ult feels less rewarding. I don't think, right, so here's what I think. I don't think it's possible to balance Resurrect in a way that makes it actually feel good. I think it's always going to feel too strong, or it's always going to feel too weak. I don't think you can fix that. I think at this point, what they should do is they should just scrap the idea completely. They should just take the res out and replace it with something else, because I don't think it's possible to balance it properly. I don't think there's some kind of perfect area you can reach with this. There are certain abilities like that. Like, I don't think it's possible to balance Defense Matrix either. And we've kind of seen this because on release, D.Va was awful because Defense Matrix had a cooldown. So it was just this really inflexible ability that you never had when you needed, and it was, it was just terrible. So they changed it, and they gave it a resource, and it lasted four seconds, and that was way too strong because it just completely nulled out certain ultimates. Really strong ultimates as well, like Death Blossom, Tack Visor. Like, it just completely stopped these things from working. Barrage, like, she just wrecked Afara in general. Now, they've changed it, they've lowered the duration to two seconds, and now it feels basically useless again. I think they should just take Defense Matrix out and give D.Va something else as well, because I don't think you can balance Defense Matrix. I think it's always going to be an issue. I think Resurrect is always going to be an issue. I think, I think they should just scrap the idea entirely. So, I'm unhappy with the change, doesn't fix the issue, still mandatory hero, and that's like the only thing that happened in this patch, really, like, they had a number of additional voice lines for Cultus and Yada, fixed a bug, fixed a bug for, uh, Victory Pose from displaying correctly, I still have the bug, like, still doesn't actually work properly for me, so, whatever. Um, I don't like it, I don't think it helps, I think it just makes Mercy less fun, but someone's still got a picker. Let me know what you think. Did you like, do you think it helps? Do you think that this is actually a meaningful nerf, or do you think it is also, or do you think like me that it is also terrible? Let me know. I'm interested to hear your feedback. So thank you very much for watching, if you did, and, uh, hopefully you found the video insightful or entertaining or something.